question nine. So hopefully you've had a good read of this question just here. So we're looking to try and model this using this just here. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write mine up here just so I've got a little bit of room and I can show you next to next to this. So probably the easiest thing to do is just to think about what if we take logs of both sides because this is talking about log of both sides here, just what we've taken over here. Um, so that'll give me log of, of D. And then this one over here is going to give me K and V to the N. Now just thinking about your basic laws of, of logs. So I can split this up. I've got two things here multiplied together. So I can split that up. I can just write log base 10 k plus log base 10 v to the m. Right, I'm not going to worry too much about that there. Now, what this is telling me is it's telling me the y-intercept is this bit just here. Now, just have a little think about what this is. This is y equals, well, y equals mx plus c. Well, this is the, the mx bit. This is the C bit. So this is like equivalent to the to the constant just here. Well, looking at this, we've got this value just here. That's got to be this bit. So we can write log base 10 K equals minus 1.77. And that will give us K equals 0.77. 0.017. Okay, there we go. If you just do that to the um, 10 to that, and that will give you that answer. Okay, right, there we go. There's that one done. Right, now let's have a look at part B. All right, so on part B, it says use the information given in figure 5 with k equal to this value. It says find a complete equation for the model given the value of n to three significant figures. Okay, so I'm going to do mine just at the side here, so you can, again, so you can see it next to what we've got there. Okay, so let's start off with with what we're looking at. All right, so we've got d equals 0.017 v. All we've got to do is just substitute in this information. Okay, so 20 equals 0.017 and 30. To the n, right? So obviously, you know what we're doing is we're trying to work out what this this n thing is just here. So, if we now divide by, let's make that clear, right? Divide by the 0 0.017, so 0 0.017, and that equals 30 to the n. Now, the best way of getting n out here, I suppose you could just do it by trial and error if you wanted to, but the best bet is to learn both sides. OK, so if you learn both sides, don't worry about this. It's just the number equals. So the ln of 30 N. Now that pulls that N out. All right. Just using your base log laws. Is that we're going to get that. Divide by ln 30. OK, so you've got this figure divide by ln 30. So N is going to equal ln 20 over 0.17 and divide ln, ooh, just squeeze that in there, okay? And that will give you n equals 2.08. Write out the new equation, okay? So d equals 0.017 v to 2.08, there we go. Right. Let's have a look at the last part of the question. Now, the last part of the question, we've got, so Sean is driving at 60 kilometers per hour at the moment in wet conditions. So he's got to stop 100 meters, okay? So it takes him 0 0.8 seconds to react, all right? So, so during that 0 0.8 seconds, he's going to be traveling some distance. And the best way of working that out is... Let's think about, so like 
normally you think about an hour. Let's think about what seconds are in, in terms of an hour. So 1 over 3,600, because there's 3,600 seconds in an hour, we've got 0 0.8. So, uh, 0 0.8 of a second, so we times that by 0 0.8, and then times it by, now because the question's talking about meters, I think rather than timesing it by 60 in terms of kilometers, I'm going to times that by 60,000, and that'll tell me how far Sean travels in that 0 0.8 seconds. So if you do that, that gives me 13.3 meters. Right, now how long is it going to take? to slow down. So what, what's the distance? Well, the distance will equal 0.017. We're traveling at 60. That's the velocity or the initial velocity and two point, uh, to the power of 2.08. And if you work that out, that gives you 84.92 meters. Right. Add these guys together and we get 98.25 meters don't forget to answer the question so use your formula to find out if sean will be able to stop before reaching the puddle yes because that's less than 100 meters